Twice the bullets passed my head. I, I, I heard the, the sound of the bullet. But uh, it's supposed to be in me, but actually it's take its way to a friend of mine. And the first four bodies that we saw in front of us is just torn everything black. It takes courage to go into the unknown, leaving everything behind. I don't have an ID to prove my identity. I don't have a passport, I have nothing. They talk everything to the security forces. So this feeling is that you feel you are just a number. A number with, with, um, with no identification. So no, no, no one can, I, I, no one recognize you. Today we have, uh, there's a refugee crisis, a human crisis actually in, in Syria. Seven million people now two or three millions of them in the refugee camps and the others in the cities all over the world uh, with no rights, just a numbers. In the refugee camps, there are so many stories. Flight from war, conflict, persecution, and incredible violence. Stories of loss, stories of fear, and stories of remarkable hope. They torture me for torture, for the torture itself your imagination start working in such a way, trying to distinguish myself from myself, from my body. It takes courage to make the refugee journey. From Joseph, Mary, and Jesus, to our own ancestors, this is our human story. It takes a generous heart to love our neighbors. When we welcome newcomers into our nation, community, and churches, we answer God's call. It's the country that's given my name back. It's the country which has given me all the chance, all the way, to be a normal person under the United States of America protection. Since World War II, LIRS has offered extraordinary welcome. Lutherans have been God's hands at work in the world, resettling 500,000 refugees offering safety, hospitality, and a new start. It's an American story. It speaks to our deepest values and belief. America is a land of immigrants and refugees. And 75 years is just the beginning. Join LIRS, walk alongside refugees and migrants.